Haha, <laughs> victory is mine. I have most of the pillows. I'm ready. We're all packed and we're about to get off the ship. I'm right back there. Move. We're ready. This is first side service, that's for sure. Our flight to Wichita got delayed about an hour and a half. All right, good morning. If this is your first time tuning in and you like the video, give me that thumbs up and subscribe so you can hang out on all these cool adventures. And I'm Erica and I'm coming to you from Crush. Last day on Odyssey, actually not last day, last morning on Odyssey. I'm excited to get home, break down all of these videos so that I can share the entire adventure with you, hopefully alleviate the anxiety and stress that you may have wanting to go on a cruise and go on an adventure so you can align with that mantra to love the life that you're in and get out there, try something new, get to the edge of your comfort zone. And of course, in everything you do, don't forget to get out there and absolutely just crush it. And it's been a pleasure bringing you with me and I hope to see you soon. I can't show anything in security. Every time I do, I get yelled at and I don't wanna violate any kind of rules or laws. This is curbside service, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. Everybody's waiting for elevators. Last day is crazy trying to get down the elevators, so Adam has graciously offered to carry our suitcases down the stairs so we can get off the ship. That part was super fast. We just booped our our cars one more time. Kind of came apart. I'm a little upset about that. That's kind of sad. And that was quick, so now we just gotta get down through customs and then out to get our Uber. Okay, now we're off the ship and we're headed through security. It's been, what, maybe five minutes since we left the room? Maybe. Oh my goodness, record time. I think we've got from the room in less than 10, way less than 10 minutes. That was a record time for sure. I gotta be honest, it was super quick. You just show your face, so that is important to know whenever you are checking in for your cruise to make sure that you upload a picture of yourself and make sure that you put in all of your pass passport information. It makes getting off the ship super easy. And we got all the way out here under 10 minutes. That's pretty freaking impressive. And then get to the airport, get checked in, get Starbucks and just chill. The buck of star. The buck of star. I like it. Oh, you're going to get eggs? Yeah. Okay, just got to the airport and it is jam packed. Holy crap. Well, it's a good thing that we're already checked in and we don't have any luggage that we need to check. So we just gotta get through security and get to the other side. So we've got four hours, but plenty of time to get through security. Should be, should be easy. <laughs> Next 30 minutes, maybe. Okay, just got through security. The longest part of that was um, waiting to get in line. Um, thank goodness we had our passports. I mean, we bring it with us whenever we go cruising. So we were able to go through the passport line, which was a lot quicker than the line uh, waiting for people that had their regular IDs. But everyone cramming together was making me super anxious. So I'm glad I had Adam with me. He was there to kind of calm me down. Um, it's just, it's too many, too many moving parts, too many um, people around me. And I really, it makes me really uncomfortable. I don't know if you're like that too, but we're through. So we're gonna go ahead and head to our gate and uh, get some Starbucks on the way and get a snack. Okay, we are on the plane and we're going to rest and relax. I have a fantastic headache from the anxiety earlier, so um, trying to think, you know, whenever you guys are traveling, do you, do you have people to help keep you calm? Or if you're traveling alone, you know, what do you do to keep calm? What do you do to alleviate stress and anxiety of traveling? Because that might best to help keep me calm, keep me sane, but um, it doesn't always work. I'm open to hearing any kind of feedback you guys might have. I just want to know what you guys do. It's only about a three hour flight to Chicago, and then from there we're heading down to Wichita. Oh, my.
my goodness, Chicago is a crazy big airport. Holy cow. Our flight to Wichita got delayed about an hour and a half. So we're waiting for the plane, I think. We see people see the crew. darting behind me. Their flight coming in from Cleveland was late. So their connecting flights are like super close together. So hopefully we're gonna be getting on the plane soon and getting home and closing up this series. And then the next series that we're going to do, we're gonna start playing around in England and doing things in England. So I haven't quite decided exactly what we're gonna do. So I know that we have a Fjords um, cruise at the end of next summer out of Southampton. So that'll be fun. But between this series and then, I haven't decided yet. Maybe go check out some castles, maybe, I don't know. I have no idea, but there's a lot of things to do in England. Have fun. Oh, don't forget to love that life that you're in. Getting on a flight, getting home. Hour and a half flight to Wichita. And that's it. Let's watch this bad now jam and take off. Delayed arrival. If this is your final.